Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Rose and I make fragrance videos. And today I have a little haul video for you with some summer fragrances that I decided to get for myself. And I also bought loads, loads of samples, uh, some new fragrances, some that, some that I was interested in for a long time. And I also got some little extras that the shops gave me when I bought the fragrances. So I'm just gonna share them with you guys if you're interested so just keep on watching so first of all i bought a whole lot of samples as you can see here i don't even know how many these are maybe like one two three four five six seven eight nine ten so i have ten samples here but i'm not gonna share them with you right now because i'm gonna go through them i'll test them and later i'll tell you my experiences with these fragrances we have here a variety of fragrances, Carne Barcelona, BDK, Nuit Nomad, Simone Andreoli, etc, etc. I will share them with you in another video, so stay tuned for that if you're interested. And let's get into what I bought. First of all, finally I had to get it. I mentioned this like a billion times already because I had multiple sample samples of these fragrances and you know thing is I have so many fragrances of that kind of sort so I was like a little bit like do I really need this but yeah I kind of do need this it is Eau Rose by Diptyque and this is such a gorgeous beautiful like natural fresh rose that I think is just gonna be perfect in the summer it does remind me somewhat of the Jo Malone rose that I have rose blush not not the red rose it also kind of reminds me of um, Chloe roses but this one is a little bit different so this is the fragrance this is the eau de toilette I want to get the Eau de Parfum as well, like the limited edition, I think it came out last year. That one has a lot more chamomile in it and I feel like it's just not necessarily like a summer, summer fragrance. I think it's maybe a little bit more like, you can wear it in the summer, but it's like very chamomile forward. So I decided to instead first go for the Eau de Toilette, which is just a very simplistic rose scent. I do really like the bottle and you have this like beautiful rose design here so i think it's very aesthetically pleasing it looks very simplistic it goes with the style of the fragrance i think this kind of design um it really speaks to me i really like it actually you know what i'm gonna spray this on myself now i'm actually not wearing any fragrance can you believe it i don't even know why i kind of forgot to put fragrance on today so i'm gonna do this now so oh, okay mm. So gorgeous a beautiful watery soft rose it's not sweet it's very realistic smelling you get a little bit of green a little bit of fruity nose as well oh, it's so beautiful if you like roses like me I think this is such a staple that you can't go wrong with I think it's absolutely beautiful and I don't regret buying it whatsoever next one I decided to purchase is one that I actually know since like forever and i really liked it and i don't know why i never bought it like i never owned this fragrance even though i totally like this kind of dna and i do really like the fragrance or all the flankers i don't know why i never decided to purchase it i think it's a little bit like the design it just doesn't speak to me that much but you know i sprayed it again recently and i was like why don't I own this fragrance already? I'm talking about Light Blue, the O Intense version from Dolce & Gabbana. And this is such a nice, fresh, lemony scent. It's so easy to wear. I do love this fresh aquatic DNA. For me, this is like such a good fragrance to wear at the beach, on vacation, that kind of thing. So I thought, you know, why not get it now before I'm going to Portugal? I'm gonna wear this on the beach. And well, actually, let's open it first. All right, let's take it out. So, this is what the bottle looks like. And to be really honest with you, while I think it's an okay bottle, it's just not necessarily something that speaks to me a whole lot. Because, like, I don't know, it's very simplistic, it's very square, which I, I think I like more rounded bottles. Um, yeah, so it's okay, you know. 
it's not a very expensive fragrance it's i think it's all right well actually to be honest like at this point it's not even that cheap anymore it used to be cheap but yeah um anyway i think this is a great long lasting aquatic citrusy fragrance i feel like the on tense light blue really lasts quite well at least on my skin if you think about this kind of dna it usually just doesn't last very long but i find with this one like i'm pretty impressed i mean it's not a beast mode fragrance obviously but considering i'm pretty happy about it and the dry down is very very nice like it's not only just fresh and citrusy you also have like a little bit of muskiness a little bit of like aromatic notes it's very beautiful like it becomes very very beautiful also after a while on the skin nevertheless super super nice freshy super nice for the summer actually i'm just gonna spray this on the packaging right here to just remind myself oh it's so nice mm. I love this DNA guys, like, I don't know, I really like it. I love fresh aquatic fragrances, I'm so into it, especially when it's warm outside, to have some nice, refreshing, citrusy aquatic notes. I think it's gorgeous, it just makes me feel like refreshed, alive, like I wanna, you know, just go out and do something. I think it's so underrated, I think it's so underrated if you ask me. I think it's absolutely gorgeous, totally love this. Let's get into the next fragrance, which I do not know. And what I'm talking about is Bohemian Lime by Goldfield and Banks. This was recommended by uh, Jus de Rose. And yeah, she was really excited about this fragrance and she thought it was like a great one. So I decided to go with her recommendation and buy just a travel size, okay? Didn't buy the full size because I don't know if I'm gonna like it and yeah i'm not gonna buy like 100 milliliter of anything if i haven't tried it usually i get samples or i buy decants or i used to actually have a perfume subscription as well actually i haven't really tried a whole lot by this brand but i do really really love love pacific rock moss like i'm obsessed with this fragrance so i was hoping that bohemian lime could be one that interests me as well. And I do like my citrusy fragrances. A lime sounds like a good idea to me. So let's check this out together. It was a blind bias. So, so it looks like this. Pretty good to put in your handbag. Decent size. Let's try it. Just gonna spray this on the packaging. Ooh, okay. Oh, this is different to what I had imagined. Okay. This is quite masculine. Let me check the notes out real quick. All right, so I got the notes on Fragrantica. So we have lime, vetiver, bergamot, sandalwood, cedar, and coriander. So, guys, you know what this fragrance reminds me of? It reminds me a lot of Mont Blanc Explorer. I'm gonna put a little picture of the fragrance here. It's definitely very, very masculine to my nose. So I pick up a lot on the vetiver and the cedar. I obviously also get the juicy and fruity lime in this one, which I do really enjoy. But it definitely has a quite masculine, kind of woody, vetiver -y feel to it like i would not wear this to be really honest with you i don't really like wearing very masculine fragrances at least to my nose this is definitely masculine meaning obviously i'm just saying it's not what i would wear like if you're a woman and you love this that's great um i think i'm gonna give this to my partner this is not really something that's my thing i actually really like the way it smells because i do also really enjoy the kind of you know Aventus Explorer kind of vibe. Uh, I think this is a great fragrance. I do love vetiver as well, just not on me so much. I mean, I'm gonna test this out, but I think it is not gonna be something that I will wear myself. Nevertheless, a good fragrance. I don't regret buying it. And I just got a travel size, so yeah. Oh, by the way, I keep seeing my nails and I'm thinking they're very very white, aren't they? Like it's almost like shining bright. And you know what? 
So I actually didn't want them to be this white. I don't know if you can see in the camera. Uh, I wanted like the milky white, you know, transparent white kind of thing. But yeah, basically my nail lady, she was just, you know, putting on more and more layers. And I don't know about you guys, but I find it so hard to, when you get your hair done, for example, like when you get your nails done, when you do all these kind of things, to say, like, or to be very much like, you know, I want this and that, and to potentially like correct them or say like, hey, excuse me, like it's not really what I was asking for, or could you, you know, like not do that, that kind of conversation. I think it's just so awkward. Or when you're getting like the wrong thing in the restaurant, I hate pointing it out, even though I think, you know, we as customers, we do have the right to get what we asked for, and on the other hand, of course, the person providing the service, like that's saying the nail technician, um, the hairdresser, whatever it may be, they can make a mistake, they can be distracted or something, or they can even sometimes think that they know better. Uh, yeah, that happens. Maybe sometimes they do. But at the same time, they also, they should kind of do what their client wants, no? But yeah, I wonder like, why is it so hard to to say that, like to say something when you are not happy with what they're doing or to ask for a change or something. I don't know. At least that is how I feel, but I know a lot of people are the same. <laughs> so yeah, anyway, I'm just ranting guys. So um, what else do I have? I just have a lot more samples. So I have the ones I bought obviously, but then they gave me loads and loads of samples here. So I got Byredo Balda Freak. This one, I really, really like this one. Such a nice, clean and comforting everyday fragrance. This is on my list, even though in the line of like clean fragrances, I think what I'm gonna get before that is Musk Therapy by Inicio. Not to say that they are that similar. I just got them at the same time and <clears throat> I mean like decants of them. And they are both such nice, clean fragrances. I think I just like Inicio's a little bit more, but Belle d'Afrique, also absolutely beautiful fragrance. I'm happy I have another sample. Then I have here Portrait of a Lady. I do like this one, but I mean, it does remind me of Rose Tonnerre, also by Frédéric Mal. Um, but I'm gonna be honest with you, this one is just a little bit too spicy and patchouli heavy to me. It is a little bit like vintage smelling, I think. I think this could be great for like a Victorian lady or something like that. Maybe I'm a bit influenced by the name also Portrait of a Lady, but this is so dark and deep. This is not really my personal style. Nevertheless, I can see the art of the, you know, the composition. It's absolutely amazing. Just not my personal style, but great fragrance. Uh, then we just have Rose, which I obviously purchased. So yeah. Um, and then I have Fleur de Peau, also by Diptyque. I actually never tried this, so I'm happy that I have a little sample of this one. Definitely gonna try this one. Then I also have Killian's Rolling in Love, which I do like this fragrance actually, which is not so much necessarily, necessar necessarily the style of fragrance that I usually gravitate towards because it's like a very white floral heavy musky almond creamy kind of fragrance so that sometimes to me is like a little bit nauseating for some reason but this one i really like it actually i think it's very very pleasant i do like killian in general um i think it's like it's a niche house but they are a little bit more mainstream so to say like a little bit more like pleasing to most people I like the fact that this is kind of a little bit lighter. I don't find this heavy, this is quite light. It's very pretty. I do find it long lasting, but it's not very strong. It is a nice DNA though. I think especially if you like tuberose, musky, creamy, almondy scents, I think you could check this one out if you haven't already. Uh, I just find like the performance is a little bit like, it's a bit weak for the heavy price tag. And then I got some more samples. They actually had this special where you could pick two fragrances, I believe, as a sample. So let's open this to be really honest. I don't remember what I picked. So apparently I picked Marbella by Carne of Barcelona and also Blanche by Byredo. 
So these ones I'm also gonna test and uh, might put them in a video. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you like this little summer haul of mine and consider subscribing to my channel if you haven't already and click that little notification bell. Like this video if you did like it and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye bye.